This is Dr. Alvin.com, the business of wisdom where world leaders and thinkers do come to chat. Very fortunate to have the international best-selling author of Aphetic Advantage, Be God's Mouthpiece, Transform Your World. I'd like for this extraordinary best-selling author to share her name. After you share your name, give me some um, idea of your background and expertise. Good morning. Good morning. My name is Michelle McLean, and I'm here uh, in Chicago. I'm out based in Chicago, Illinois. I'm currently a part of a church here where we have a vision to touch the world with the gospel. Uh, I've been traveling around the world for about 15 years now, uh, activating the body of Christ and the art of hearing the voice of the Lord. Give me a basic overview of what this important book is all about that we're going to be talking about today. This book is about how the average believer, the everyday believer, can hear God's voice for their lives. Uh, My passion for writing this book, um, I take it from the advantage of not hearing the voice of God, um, how life can sometimes knock the wind out of you, but when you come in contact and meet the Lord Jesus Christ, and especially His prophets, they begin to breathe wisdom and revelation and destiny into your life. One of the passages that you kick off this book, in, which is a part of the dedication, you talk about as arrows are in the hand of a mighty man, so are children of the youth. Happy is a man that has this quiver full of them. They shall not be ashamed, but they shall speak with the enemies in the gate. Psalm 127, 4 and 5. Why did you decide to uh, dedicate this book to your extraordinary daughter? Uh, my daughter is um, my daughter is an she's a missionary. She loves um, traveling to nations. But not only is that dedicated to my daughter, but I have many sons and daughters, young adults, who are generally looking for purpose. And and my passion is to get them connected with God and for them to understand that they're not in this world by chance. God has a specific plan for each one of them. So I really wanted. Uh, I dedicated the book to her because she's really the, the uh, how can I say it, she's the, the earmark, the, the testament to my life. She's, she's 23, she's traveled to over 10, 23 nations, and she's moving in, in the prophetic advantage. What is prophecy? Prophecy is hearing the heart and the mind of God. It's simply the heart and the mind of, the, of Father God to his children. It's inspired speech uh, that comes upon an individual who's sensitive to the voice of God. Does a person have to be a prophet in order to have this experience? No. Every believer can prophesy. Actually, Acts 2.17 says, In the last days I'm pouring pouring out my spirit upon all flesh, and the sons and daughters will prophesy. So if you're a son and daughter of the Lord Jesus Christ, you can definitely prophesy, hear his voice, and release it. You just have to be trained to hear it now you use the analogy of a lion and the lion's roar what do you mean by releasing the lion's roar well uh the scripture tells us that uh god has said the lion has roared who can but fear the lord god has spoken who can but prophesy sometimes we see jesus you know as the baby lamb but one another distinction of his nature is the lion he's called the lion of the tribe of judah and i believe that he's raising up a company of of christians who are not going to be afraid to boldly proclaim his name throughout throughout the earth how can i tell whether or not a prophecy is true or viable or plausible or it was something based upon what i had to eat last night (laughs) all right well let's let's talk about that that's a few things there uh if you're a believer receiving a prophetic word my first thing i always train people if it if it doesn't sound like a father talking to a son or a daughter my first litmus test is to throw that out because god he he loves his people and he has a passion to get us back to where he originally designed us to be now if you are a believer and you're receive you're hearing a word for someone else the scripture is always the guideline, the plumb line for the word. So if you can't find it in scripture, if it doesn't sound like God, uh, the God of the Bible, my first thing is to put that in the garbage as well. What is the sevenfold ministry of the Holy Spirit? Oh, this is my favorite, one of my favorite uh, parts of the, the favorite chapters. Uh, one of the things the Lord showed me that uh, that he's releasing a new uh, an anointing. It's not a new anointing. It's been in the earth, but he's, it's being magnified. It's the sevenfold spirits of God. It's the spirit of the Lord. 
It's also the spirit of counsel. It's the spirit of might. It's the spirit of knowledge and understanding. And and what this anointing is doing, uh, God is empowering his people to hear on a different level. Uh, people, I call it the greater, greater works army. Jesus said that in the last days that he was going to, when he poured out his spirit, there'll be a company of believers that will do greater works than he did. And these, this is what I'm calling the sevenfold spirits of the Lord. So how would you define the greater works? The greater works, this is what I call the great, it's, it's, the, it's the anointing for miracles. It's for uh, healing and deliverance. I really believe God is releasing supernatural power in the earth to break people free. They move out and the miraculous, those greater works, that's what I'm calling them. They're signs and wonders, uh, deliverance, healing, breakthrough in financial areas. I believe God is empowering leaders to move in that anointing. What do you mean when you say prophets are builders? Prophets are builders. This is what I mean. I mean that prophets are called to be in the local church to help uh, senior leaders here and uh, build up the church, not tear down. Uh, they can release words that bring encouragement. That's one major way that we build a person in their self-esteem. Uh, I, I really believe that because of the way the economy is moving, the way uh, so much uh, uncertainty in the earth, I believe the Lord will put his words in mouths of prophetic believers that brings edification, exhortation, and comfort. What do you mean when you talk about the creative force of prophecy? There is an anointing uh, on, pro on the prophetic that can create, uh, can build, uh, and release a healing and breakthrough. Uh, I, I use the example in the book of uh, Ezekiel 37, where it talks, it's a picture of a type of bones that are scattered and been broken and dry. And I really believe that there's a force that comes from God the Creator uh, where He empowers His prophets to release words that cause people to be healed on the inside, uh, just like the Creator. Uh, one of my passions is to see God's image restored in believers. So many believers are just broken by life, by disappointments, but the Word of God can come and bring so much deliverance and so much healing. What do you mean when you talk about, or why is it important to have character in the prophetic ministry? Oh, gosh. The prophet, it's so important to have a character because we're representing a God of excellence. And what I've seen over the last 15, really 20 years, uh, it's people, they're not walking in integrity. Um, they're uh, taking advantage of God's uh, people. And so uh, I have a passion as well to see um, people with impeccable character raised up in this, in this hour, uh, releasing the word of the Lord, because we represent the kingdom of God. So, and there's been such a bad taste in the mouths of everybody, believers, non-believers, for the prophetic. So I really believe God is bringing a restoration and reformation in the prophetic realm. There's so much information in this very powerful book that helps a person to be God's mouthpiece, transforming their world. Give me a final thought. Make sure I have the takeaway. Why should I take my hard-earned money and go out and buy a copy of this important book? This is my final thought, is, it, is that... We want to live our lives according to the plan and purposes of God. And in my book, I begin to give you a hundred advantages of the prophetic anointing. But my, the Bible tells us that we're not in this world by chance, that God has revelation for us. He has a plan for you. So uh, what I, we don't want to live this, you know, live in the world that wasn't here. I, I had a dream once, and the Lord said that there were many people. I saw a picture of a graveyard, and the epitaph on the graveyard says it was like they were never here. And so I personally believe that uh, the, God wants us to live a full and a rich life. He wants us to, to know his heartbeat, and he wants us to, 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 to do what he's assigned us to do in the earth so we can have joy and peace. So that's what the book is about. It's about uh, not living your life aimlessly, but living for a purpose greater than yourself. And I believe that the prophetic anointing gives you an advantage because God tells you exactly what you were created to do. So if you're interested in knowing what you've been called to do, uh, that's what I place in the book. 
For a person who wants to get a copy of this important book and also to be a part of your world, what can they do so to connect with you? Uh, I have a website. It's called uh, michellemcleanministries.com. You can purchase the book there. Also, you can purchase the book on Amazon.com. Well, thank you so very much for sharing your wonderful heart. You're a very adorable person. This will be featured at several places if you'd like to connect with me. I'm at dralvin.com, the business of wisdom. Every day I talk to world leaders and thinkers. Also, you can connect with me on Facebook at dralvin.com. Also, if you're on Twitter, you can connect with me at Dr. Alvin Jones. And as always, you continue to have a remarkable and amazing day, okay? Okay, thank you.